Pence, I'm here with the yeah boy Eric Anders, UFC fighter and now Hollywood actor. Hello, sir. How are you today? Hey, how's it going, brother? I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, listen, we're here to discuss a little bit about your role in Cobra Kai and about your upcoming fight. Let's start from uh, uh, the new part of your career, your, your active career. Uh, how did you land your job, you know, as an actor in the recently released Cobra Kai season five? Um, well, you know, they're, they're doing a lot of filming, uh, in Atlanta, which is like two and a half hours away from here. And, you know, the stunt coordinator for Cobra Kai was on another project that they worked on in Birmingham, uh, where I met him and then, uh, they, you know, they're doing Cobra Kai, so they need, you know, fighters and whatnot. So, um, you know, they reached out to my coach, Chris Conley, and, uh, you know, there's a few of us, you know, some of those guys from the gym. Uh, our uh, stunt doubles and I know Woodley and uh, Wonder Boy are in it too. So, you know, I think that's just kind of the direction that they were trying to go for um, this season. Yeah, yeah. I, I noticed there are many MMA fighters in uh, the new season. It was very nice to see that. I like the fact that they are, you know, uh, mixing the karate, of course, with the Rhea, with MMA fighters and actual professional fighters, which is an interesting touch, at least uh, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, sure. It was cool doing the whole MMA uh, versus karate thing. And then, um, you know, I watched all those Karate Kid movies growing up and my kids are fan of the show. So, you know, they're, they're the cool kids in school now that they're, you know, their dad's in uh, Cobra Kai. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, it, it must it must, uh, must have been quite a dream for you to be working on, on the set of Cobra Kai. How was it, you know, to work side by side with uh, William Zapka? Uh, he's cool, man. He is uh, Johnny Lawrence in real life. You know, the stuff that he says. And, and that's he was just in character for, you know, the, the two weeks that we were there, you know, filming the show, you know. But I, I find it kind of hard to, to like be like that all the time, you know, so... I think that, the, um, you know, he's the perfect person. Uh, you know, what you see in Johnny Lawrence is William Zapka in real life, and I thought that was cool. And uh, did you have any particular interaction? Did he uh, give you any advice for, you know, what you do on the set, or on the series, sorry? Um, not really. You know, he, he's a big MMA fan, so he knew who I was, and, um, you know, he's into it, and, you know, um, no, nah, we really didn't talk about like, you know, acting and stuff. We just, you know, he just kind of told me like, be natural, you know, just exaggerate movements really. Cause you know, the camera has to catch it, that kind of thing. But other than that, you know, we just talked about, you know, the real life stuff. I don't wish to, you know, to spoil anything from, uh, from the series, but still you are portraying an, an MMA fighter. Uh, the this the scenes involving you also showcase a, a clash between uh, you and uh, Johnny Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence, of course, everyone can guess wins that that clash uh, with a particular clear move. <laughs> the how is it called the the white lightning or something like that? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. That's him. That's William Zappi or uh, Johnny Lawrence. I think it's kind of made that up on the spot. Um, how how is it, you know, to 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 turn that to you know to show that uh, scene? Hey, right, turn it down. What's that? Uh, sorry, how is it for you to show that scene? Uh, it was cool. It, it was a lot more work than I thought it was. It was like two twelve-hour days to shoot that scene. Um, and that's just my part, you know, the, uh, the actors, you know, there's, there's more to that scene than I'm in, obviously. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of work. What was the most difficult part of, uh, acting in your opinion? Um, just doing it over and over and over and over and over. I mean, I must have shot that scene, you know, a hundred times, literally. And then when you just, you think that you got it right they come back and make you do it for, they move the cameras to the other side so that they can get all the angles for the editing and stuff and, and make it look how they want it to look. 
uh, isn't it a little bit, you know, uh, relating to MMA, uh, repeating and repeating stuff until you get the perfect result? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you, you know, trying MMA for 12 hours, you know, each day was 12 hours. So, yeah, that's that's a lot of training. Yeah, yeah, it sounds tiring, and I bet it was. Uh, listen, are we going to see you again in series, movies? Are you actually considering taking uh, on the acting career? Yeah, I would love to. I'm actually going to um, uh, start filming another movie called War Paint um, tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, in all next week. So, um, yeah, that'll be fun. And how are you handling your Hollywood, uh, you know, your Hollywood career and your MMA, you know, your MMA training in general? Um, man, it's actually kind of like the, the timing is great because I leave to go to Arizona on the 18th. So next week, so I'll be done shooting and filming by then. And then I can go train and just concentrate uh, solely on that. Yeah, I mean, of course, I know that your upcoming fight is on December the 3rd, so you have, you still have plenty of time. Uh, you are scheduled to take on Kylie Dokus. Uh, so you haven't started your training camp, uh, really? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like getting in shape. I've been lifting, running, um, still training, but not specific for uh Kyle Dawkins um on the 18th that's a Sunday so I guess on the 19th whenever I get to Arizona um I'll start training specifically for Kyle Dawkins and and you know start getting in fight shape and what about your latest fight your narrow split decision loss to Junyong Park uh what went wrong on that occasion the judges went wrong I won and they said that you know that he won so It is what it is. Um, I just, uh, you know, they always say don't leave it in the hands of the judges. And please believe that I was, I was trying to, to knock him out to finish him. But, you know, it's not always going to work out like that. So, yeah, know, I, I recall that it was quite a hard fought uh, battle in, in general. Uh, you're not, of course, the first fighter who complains about the judges. You, unfortunately, you won't be the last one either. Uh, in your opinion, is there anything that can be done to improve that, you know, that situation? Uh, yeah, get more competent judges, open scoring. Um, I don't necessarily think the more judges is the answer. Because if you have more judges, then you're going to have, you're just going to have, uh, you know, more incompetent judges. So I think that, uh, Yeah, open scoring. And uh, maybe like a, uh, they have to pass a test or something to, to you know, be yeah. able to rep high-level fights or judge high-level fights. Yeah, I, I understand. Uh, the card on which uh, you're competing in should be headlined by the clash between uh, Derek Brunson and Jack Hermanson. Uh, your pick for that one? Um. I'm going to go Derek Brunson. I think that, uh, yeah, I just think that he can wrestle. I think Hermanson kind of tends to fold the pressure. But, you know, anything can happen in the fight. So, I don't know. I'm, I think, I think uh, Brunson will get it, though. Before we wrap up this interview, what is the best memory you will, you know, you will keep with you from the Cobra Kai experience? Um, I don't know. Probably watching it with my kids, and you know, so seeing how excited they are that their that their dad's in Cobra Kai, and uh, you know, just you know, it's like the first like uh, I don't know if it's considered a major role, but a uh, first you know big role, I guess. So you know, hopefully, there's more to come. Did uh, your kids uh, watch it already or uh, they haven't yet? Yeah, no, yeah, we watched it before they went to school the day it came out. Oh, uh, that, yeah, that's fair, fair enough. I mean, it, it came out yesterday and it was on, on Friday. 
Uh, well, please let me know what did they say and, uh, you know, about uh, their dad being in that series. I enjoyed season five pretty much. I love the scenes involving you, you know, the whole, whole MMA promotion in those undergrounds. It, it was interesting <laughs> to, to, to say the, the least. So, uh, Eric, thank you very much uh, for this interview today. Do you wish to add anything else? Uh, I think that's it, man. You know, thank you for all the love and support from everywhere and everyone. So, you know, it means a lot. So, thank you, guys. And of course, perhaps you have, you already noticed that, but I asked uh, William Zapka, you know, about you, about your scene specifically when I interviewed him. And uh, yeah, he sounded pretty thrilled about it as well. <laughs> yeah, he's a cool guy. Cool guy. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye bye.